Hello and welcome back to my channel. Let's continue to talk about live streaming in China. In this video, I will introduce the two types of live streaming. One, brand self-broadcasting. Brand self-broadcasting refers to the practice where brands themselves host their own live streaming sessions to promote and sell the products directly to consumers. This approach allows brands to have full control over their live streams, ensuring the messaging and presentation align with their branding. This method has gained popularity as brands recognize the potential of live streaming to engage with their audience in an authentic and direct way. Instead of relying solely on influencers or live streaming celebrities, brands are stepping in to establish a personal connection with consumers through their own live streaming. Let me introduce the SOP for brand daily self-broadcasting. If your brand is new to live streaming, please take notes to these steps. So before live streaming, team needs to set up the equipment, camera, sounds, screen, lighting, and mic, as well as POSM, meaning point of sales materials, and GWP, gifts with purchase. Step two, add products, lucky draw, and coupon into the live streaming platform. Three, live streamer styling including hairstyle, clothing, and makeup. Make sure it's on brand. Then in the live streaming, make sure the background and decorations have shown your brand and products visuals clearly. The live streamers need to clearly deliver products USP, unique selling points to consumers, and link it with products usage occasions to be more engaging. Also, mention the promotion mechanism and let audiences to join the membership to recruit more members to transfer to your private domain, such as your CRM group. After your live streaming, live streamers should uh, record the results and review the performances. Another live streaming type, Dabo, means influencers live streaming and refers to a strategy where companies collaborate with popular live streamers or influencers to promote their products. These influencers are usually experts in their respective niches and they have a strong following that trust their recommendations. By partnering with these influencers, brands can leverage their influencers and credibility to reach a wider audience and boost sales. This concept is somewhat similar to influencer marketing, where the influencers acts as a bridge between the brand and the consumers, vouching for these products and making them more appearing. And here is the SOP an influencer's live streaming should have. 1. Pitch your products to influencers and select the suitable products with them for live streaming. 2. Set up the date, live streaming rundown, review and finalize the script. Finalize the product's price and cooperation mechanism and offerings. For example, the sampling, gifts with purchase, coupons, and lucky draw for live streamers to offer to their fans. 3. Preheat of this live streaming. Use your social media accounts and influencers' accounts to advertise this upcoming live streaming to preheat this activity. 4. Make sure your warehouse is ready. It's a good reminder because I have seen some brands find out they don't have enough stocks for the upcoming live streaming. Mm -hmm. It's a very expensive celebrity, they write. So in the live streaming, the time recorder needs to remind the moderator to ensure the timeline is on track. Moderators should be more natural, try to talk about the products from vivid life occasions, from ingredients and different angles. Uh, they should also lead the celebrity or influencers to chat about their memorable stories related to uh, products. And don't forget to have some fans interactions, lucky draws to keep the audience more entertaining. Again, live streaming is an important marketing and sales channel. If you are new to China, it's probably the fastest way for people to know you and convert into sales at the same time. That's all. Thanks for watching.